Hey everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. In this video, I want to show you an amazing AI powered code editor that has been quite popular recently. Its name is Winserve. So, Winserve is an AI powered code editor that you can download and use for free with certain limits. The editor was released back at the end of 2024 with a vision to enable everyone to build applications using AI while giving a coding experience that feels like magic. Winserve also claims to be the first agentic IDE, which means back when it was released, no other AI-powered coding editor included an agent that can create, write, and edit files for you. Now I'm not sure about the magic part, but I do like Winserve to an extent. By the way, Winserve is also a fork of VS Code for those of you who cared, so it's actually like a younger brother to Cursor, which was released in 2023. And here, uh, what makes the Winserve editor the first AI agentic IDE and then some? Well, it was because of flows, the way humans are meant to work with AI. Flows equal agents plus co-pilots, the Winserve editor is powered by an AI that can both collaborate with you like a co-pilot and tackle complex tasks like an agent independently. The AI is completely in sync with you every step of the way, and flows allow the dev and AI to operate on the same state at all times, creating a mind melt experience beyond just an assistant. Uh, to be honest, I don't really understand this, but I think the AI is continually adapting as the project is being built. But I get that Windsurf has a smart AI agent called Cascade here, so it has full contextual awareness, it can also suggest and run comments, it can pick up where we left off, and then multi-file editing. Yeah, I think other AI editors can do that also these days, but back then this must be really unique. Anyway, for the pricing, Windsurf Pro is going to cost $15 per month, which is $5 less when compared to Cursor. The free plan will grant you 25 prompt credits per month, all premium models, optional zero data retention, unlimited fast tap, unlimited cascade base, unlimited command, and then previews, also the ability to deploy one app per day, which sounds great. Also, you're going to get two weeks of pro plan right now, just like most other editors, so there's really no risk for you in trying it out and see if you like it. In the pro plan, you get all the same features in free plan. It will simply grant you more credits and deploy up to five apps per day. If you ever run out of credits, you can buy 250 credits for $10. There is also the team and enterprise plan, but if you are a solo developer, then the pro plan is recommended. I've actually tried Windsurf already, as you can see me use it when testing GPT-04 Mini model, but then I was just using it for the free access to the O4 Mini Height model. Now in this video, I will focus on exploring features that are unique to Windsurf IDE. So let's get to it! To get started, go to windsurf.com and you will see a button to download the version for your operating system. In my case, it showed the Mac version, download and install it, and then we'll move on to the next step. Once Windsurf is installed, open the app and you will be shown the onboarding screen like this. Follow the onboarding steps and just follow the instructions. After a few settings, you will be asked to sign into an account. You can register for a free account if you haven't got one. I already have an account so I'm just going to select login. Wait for the process to finish. And now we're in Windsurf main screen. First, you can click on the open folder blue button here to select a folder where the code files will be stored. Ideally, it should be an empty folder so that it only contains the files for the project you're going to build. If you have opened some folders before, it will be shown below the open folder button like this. Here, I will click on the Windsurf code folder, which I have created for this tutorial. It's just an empty folder as you can see here. On the right side, we have what's called the Cascade window. If you can't see Cascade, then try to click on the button to open Cascade at the top right corner as shown here. Cascade in Windsurf is just like Composer or Chat in Cursor. It's the system that powers Windsurf agentic AI capabilities. Cascade has two modes, Write and Chat. In Write mode, Cascade will be able to create, write, and edit files in the current workspace while in chat mode, the AI will respond to your questions without making any changes. For this tutorial, we will use the write mode. And to the right of mode selection, there is the models option where you can select the AI model to use. 
Here, you can see many popular and latest models available to use with Windsurf. For this tutorial, I'm going to use CloudSonnet 3.7 Thinking Model, but you can try out other models if you want. Below the chat box, there are some Windsurf tools such as MCP Surfers, Preview, and Deploy. MCP is a bit advanced, so we will skip it for now. I will show you how to run Preview and Deploy later. And then below that, there are past conversations. You can click on one of them to go back to that conversation. Okay, now that Windsurf is ready, let's use it to create our first project and see how it performs. So here, I'm going to ask Cascade to help me create a Brick Breaker browser game in neon color style and modern cool looking animations. We're going to see how Cascade create this game from scratch, so fire away. Here, we can see Cascade immediately started processing the request. First, it formulated a simple plan on how to fulfill the request, and then it started to create the necessary files and write the code in those files. I will skip a bit to when the generation is completed. Okay, it's now done. Here, Cascade writes some information about what it has generated. Uh, so it created a neon-themed Brick Breaker game for me. The game features neon colors, modern animations, responsive controls, lives and hike scores, and so on. The game is now running on the browser, you can click the preview link above to play. And then the game controls, move mouse to move the paddle, can use keyboard and touch for touch screen devices, and then space to pause. Alright, I think it's all good, so let's go up a little and find the preview button. So here it is, let's run it. Okay, let me open the preview a bit larger here. Push the cascade window off screen, and here we go. Let's start the game. Mm, it looks like the paddle to reflect the ball is off screen. And this game screen is just too big for this window. I think we need to make this game responsive to the screen size. So let's get back to Cascade. Now let's ask Cascade to make the game responsive. I can't. Oops. I pressed enter there so let's cancel. And then I can't see the paddle make the interface responsive to the window size. Okay, hit the submit button and let the AI work to fix the problem. I will skip ahead again. Alright, this looks much better already, so let's start the game. And yeah, the game is now looking good. We can see the paddle down below, and at the top, we can see the score and how many lives left. The animation looks nice overall, as we can see when the ball hit the brakes. So, uh, well done! Now, another cool feature about Windsurf is that it allows you to just click on an element in the preview window in order to focus on just that element. This makes editing the project easy, as you can tell Cascade what to change without diving into the code base. For example, suppose I want to change the glow of the final score text over here. Let's say I want to change this text to neon yellow. What I need to do is just to click on this send element button down here. And then I can click on any element that I want to send to Cascade. So uh, let's click the final score text here. There is a confirmation down here saying the element was added to Cascade. Next, open the Cascade chat window again. Here you can see the element added to the chat box. I can now just say change the text color to neon yellow. Press enter and then Cascade will make the change for us. Once the change is done, just refresh the preview browser with the refresh button over here. And then let's lose the game. Okay, now the final score text has been changed to neon yellow. This click to edit feature is unique to Cascade, as I haven't seen this feature yet in other AI powered editors, so it definitely makes creating projects in Windsurf more fun and easier to do. Alright, now that the app is finished, let's say I want to put this on the internet so that others can play this game. With Windsurf, you can put the app to the internet with just one click although it's limited to using Windsurf domain. To deploy an app with Windsurf, you need to click on the deploy button. So here above the chat box, go back from file changes first. The rocket icon over here is the deploy button. So click on that and then just click deploy. And Cascade will start the deployment process. Although I think you can also just message Cascade saying deploy, but right now Cascade will check for deployment configuration first. Since we haven't deployed this project previously, it creates a new deployment configuration for us. Once the deployment is ready, Cascade will ask you one more time if you want to deploy the app to this domain, which is neonbrickbreaker.winsurf.build. 
The dot windsurf dot build domain can't be changed because the deployment is limited to using windsurf domain. All right, so click deploy. And then Cascade will check the status of the site, whether the app can be accessed from the domain yet. Once the app is online, Cascade again will write some information about the deployment. Uh, so here it was deployed using Netlify and then the configuration was created in the project. You can see the configuration here in the explorer window if you want to learn more. Anyway, let's see the result in the browser. So just open this link provided by Cascade. And here it is. We can see the Brick Breaker game access through the browser. Now, keep in mind that according to Windsurf, app deployments are just for preview purposes, so other people can review the project you created without needing access to your computer. If you want to deploy a complete app for business purposes, make sure you deploy it properly. Overall, I like the preview and deploy feature in Windsurf. The preview feature enables you to see the code output immediately in the editor, so you don't need to open a browser. And it also has the click to send element to cascade feature, which speeds up the editing process. The deploy feature allows you to put the app that you've created on the internet, so everyone can see and try it out. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So, what do you think about the Windsurf Editor? I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Kobe Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. So make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting or useful. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in other videos. Bye bye.